Okay, so first of all, uh, you're probably thinking that this video looks a bit weird. That is because I just bought a uh, new camera and I'm testing it out. And basically, I'm not sure if I'm keeping this camera or not because while the video looks excellent, uh, the zoom features are rather lacking. So this whole video is going to be experiment to see uh, how well this plays out once it's uploaded to YouTube. Because, yeah, it's very clear. The clarity of the camera is great. If I can get it to focus. But it has issues with the macro. Um, to actually use the macro, I have to have this camera right in my face, which makes it difficult to paint with. Um, so, I don't know. Also, I can't fix the focus, so we're going to see if this stays in focus throughout the whole video. But, all right, to the actual video now. Uh, we're going to be painting white, uh, cool white this time. I did the warm white video, and I didn't have a candidate to paint a cool white. So I finally got one, and we're going to try it out. I don't paint cool white very often, so this is going to be a bit of experiment. I may have to redo some areas. We shall see. Starting off with some Vallejo game somber gray, and uh, this, as I mentioned before, warm white has brown and a cool white has blue. Uh, you don't want to go. When I say blue, I don't mean literally blue. Usually, a bluish gray uh, works out very well. If you go with warm white, you can go brown and sim symbolize dirt. If um, if you go further into the browns with uh, cool white, if you go further into the blues, you're gonna it, it's gonna be blue. It's not gonna be white anymore. But starting out with the uh, basing brush, starting out with somber gray, and much like with the khaki with the warm white, this is not meant to be a base color. This is only meant to draw the uh, bring up the darkness of the black primer so this color will be fully covered at some point later on this figure by the way is Rasputina from weird for the Malifaux game Somber gray is dry. Now I'm going to try mixing up. Um, we're going to mix in some game color wolf gray. And uh, the idea is to work up to this color, but uh, it's not super thick or super opaque. So we're going to start by mixing a little bit of the. Uh, gray and wolf's gray and work our way up. Let's see, that's about 80-20. 80% wolf's gray. Actually, let's mix in a little bit more somber. And I'm going to cover up uh, everything. So now I'm just applying the straight wolf's gray, and uh, this color doesn't cover as well as the, uh, the khaki or the rocky sand from the model color because it's from the game color line. So it's taking quite a few layers, uh, but this co color is going over a majority of the model. I'm just leaving that previous layer and any really deep cracks like uh, along the leg here where the skirt splits. We can see here on the back, we're starting to get better coverage. And after about oh, three or four more layers of this, we can start adding white. Now mixing, uh, starting to mix some of the white in with the uh, wolf's gray. 
Also, I changed camera position. I'm still ex experimenting with this new camera. So, I am not sure which side of the brush my hand's being held in right now because um, this video is upside down for me. But uh, hopefully I can invert it later. All right. So I've got about a 50-50 mix of white and wolf's gray. And I switched to a uh, newer brush. I was using just my base coating frayed brush before since I was not doing fine detail, but now I am. So now we're going to leave that previous color in the recesses. And thin this out a bit more. And I'm going to start applying this new color. Again, just like with the warm white, with cool right white, you want little, little, small amounts of contrast, not huge amounts of contrast. So I did one more layer off camera, I just kind of got into the flow of things and that was uh, adding a bit more white to that previous wolf gray and white mixture. So it was just a, just a hair off of uh, pure white and I only did a couple layers, not, uh, not a few dozen. But now working on the last color, pure white, as always thin down. Remember key to doing colors like this, like white, is many 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 thin layers. You don't goop it on because you'll just lose the detail and it'll look terrible and it won't produce any better results than doing several very thin layers. So I'm starting off with the white just on the edges and then I'm going to decide if I want to bring it down further into the larger flat areas. It mainly depends on how how white I want this to look. By starting on the top edges I could then bring it out, feather it out into the, uh, the larger flat areas if I want to. If I do the reverse and start with big flat areas, well then I'm stuck. So here's a good example in the back here. <clears throat> Want to add a bit more white to that, white to that. So I'm going to thin out the pure white that I got, so it's more transparent. And carefully apply it to the flats. And because it's thinned out more than the edged white, it'll be a bit more transparent and then it's not as intense. And there we have it, all done. Colors uh, contrasting the white um, work well, obviously black works well. Uh, I would stay away with uh, from any really warm colors like red or yellow. Uh, I did use some brown along the fur, however, um, mixed a lot of beige into it so it's uh, light enough to go. It works well with the, uh, the cool white. And uh, this figure is done. All it needs is a little groundwork, which we'll do in a separate video. Thanks for watching.